Hi guys, and welcome back to Will the Beard Reviews. And today, instead of talking about movie news, we're going to talk about comic books. That's right, we're going to review this book right here. Batman Beyond Rebirth, Volume 1, Escaping the Grave, by uh, Dan Jurgens and Bernard Chain and Marcelo Maiolo. Hopefully I'm saying that last name right. This book collects uh, Batman Beyond Rebirth Number 1 and Batman Beyond 1 through 5. In this book, we see Terry come back to Gotham and back to being Batman after being away for a while, only to find out that the Joker's gang has taken over an entire section of Gotham so his mission here is to uh, figure out what the Jokers are up to why they've kind of taken over that section of town and I, I have to say that there are some very jaw-dropping reveals in here that I am was very happy about and so I was really interested to pick this up Batman Beyond is one of my absolute favorite cartoons it's right up there with um, Batman the animated series and the 90s X-Men is one of the ones that I grew up with, one I've, I love, one I've watched through as an adult, one I hope to share with, with my daughter when she's old enough. So I was really excited to pick up some Batman Beyond books and get back into that world of Terry McGinnis and Gotham in the not-so-distant future. And I have to say, I was really pleasantly surprised with this. I absolutely love this book from both a Batman Beyond perspective as a fan of that character and all those characters that go along with Batman Beyond and as just a Batman fan in general. There's a lot of little Easter eggs that uh, if you're a longtime Batman fan you'll get a lot out of this book. The The art is fantastic, the writing is great, I really enjoy the story. I really don't have any complaints about this book um, but if I about this book specifically what I do have a small complaint about is I think uh, this being Volume 1 um, of Rebirth is a little misleading and may uh, turn off some some new readers. This kind of picks up after like a really long uh, Batman Beyond arc that I wasn't aware of. So there's some things that are referenced in this book that I was a little confused by. Um, but if you can just kind of take those as they come and then maybe go read some Wikipedia to kind of clear things up if you want to after the fact, then I think you'll be just fine and can enjoy this book. It mostly stands on its own. So um, that's all I got today, guys. I definitely recommend that you stop by your local comic shop and pick this guy up. Uh, until next time, see you at the cinema.